Hunter's mansion earlier. Think it had anything to do with that massive face that appeared in the sky? Nah. Here I go, ready to give it my best. to anybody ever! <laughs> Reporting for duty. Whatever lies ahead, I will be ready to face it. Oh, I can't feel my face. Comrade, I need your help. I want to be just like you when I grow up. We thought we were in the clear after being rescued from the base in Siberia, but it seems we were wrong. Not long after our return, the other members of the Winter Guard went crazy, started attacking everyone in sight. This behavior, it is a lot like what happened back at the base. I'm no scientist, but my guess is that this is some kind of delayed react. All the snow gears. Excellent. Then we should hurry and look for my comrades. Fighting the Winter Guard will be no, how you say, cakewalk in park. I should know. I am one of them. I just hope we can deal with them one at a time. These are the Presence's men. We must be on the right track. Foolish humans, I hope you're pre there to be beaten. You leave me no choice but to crush you. Surprise! I hate the way you can watch. You call this a challenge? I have met the great and powerful Hulk. Enough with these small fry. We must hurry and catch the big fish. So, you are the ones who would defy the presence. Prepare to be destroyed. Sasha, my friend, this is not you. Stop this madness. Do not test me, furry beast! Face the power of the Dark Force! The might of the Presence is absolute! Don't stand in our way! Welcome back, my little Ponchiki. <laughs> I'll explain everything when I've rescued the others. 
For now, just rest. Come, comrade. We must rescue the others. Let me guess, you're wondering why I wasn't affected by the radiation. I'm gonna put it down to my extra body mass. Or maybe bears are just immune. But again, I'm no scientist. Choice but to bear arms. <laughs> you mess with this bear, you get the cr This doesn't put me in a very cuddly mood. I am not your garden variety anthropomorphic bear. I am Ursa Major, King of Bears. <laughs> of the presence. I recommend you surrender, little bear. I don't want to have to hurt you, Dynamo. Please, you must fight it. Wait, did he call me little? Move aside, or I will simply blast you aside. You are no match for me. <laughs> The Presence will have his revenge. I will see to that. Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. sees Ravonna, tell her there's a bee in my room, and I need her to come and deal with it. Oh, never mind. It flew out the window. Oh, no, wait, it's back. No, 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 it's gone. As you were. Combat. It was epic. We thought 
we were in the clear. These... Excellent. Then we should hurry and look for my comrades. Fighting the Winter Guard will be no, how you say, cakewalk in park. I should know. I am one of them. I just hope we can deal with them one at a time. Is made. We must be on the right track. <laughs> Foolish humans. I hope you're free. There to be beaten. You leave me no choice but to crush you. Surprise. You call this a challenge? I have met the great and powerful Hulk. Enough with these small fry. We must hurry and catch the big fish. So, you are the ones who would defy the presence? Prepare to be destroyed! Sasha, my friend, this is not you. Stop this madness. Do not test me, furry beast. A green shirt. Make sure you get me a green one. Face the power yeah, of the yeah. Dark Force. Yeah. The might of the presence is absolute. Don't stand in our way. <laughs> Explain everything when I've rescued the others. For now, just rest. Come, comrade. We must rescue the others. Let me guess. You're wondering why I wasn't affected by the radiation. I'm gonna put it down to my extra body mass. Or maybe bears are just immune. But again, I'm no scientist. Yeah. No choice but to bear arms. <laughs> you mess with this doesn't put me in a very cuddly mood. I am not your garden variety anthropomorphic bear. I am Ursa Major, King of Bears. <laughs> They were no trouble. No one can stop the might of the presence. I recommend you surrender, little bear. I don't want to have to hurt you, Dynamo. Please, you must fight it. Wait, did he call me little? Move aside, or I will simply blast you aside. No match for me. 
The presence will have his revenge. I will see to that. Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. What? What was I just doing? I'm glad you're back with this, Conrad. Wait here. We still have to help Alexi. Now we just have to save the Red Guardian, and this will all be over. of these small fry. They must be gluttons for punishment. I'm going there, sir. I'll put you into hibernation. You really think you stand a chance against the unsurpassed power of Ursa Major? <laughs> So, you made it past the others. Well, the Red Guardian won't go down so easily. I am Iron Man. Your mind is not your own, Alexei. Don't let the presence manipulate you. This is your first and final warning, villain. Don't stand in my way! How about I reshape your face? The science of punching! Well, maybe Dynamo. He gets on my nerves sometimes. But I'm certain that once they've recovered from battle, the Winter Guard will be back in action and mind control free. Even with my strength, I couldn't have done this alone. But yours, Basiba, my friend. If you ever need a helping claw, fight. You can never have too much of. uh. whatever the heck this. I heard it was you that helped Mikhail. Thank you. My mind is back to normal, but my body may take a little while again to fully recover from our fight. Why not kill some time with a race? You know, that was a nasty bump you gave me earlier. I guess I should thank you, though. Better to have a little bump than be some mind-controlled slave. I should be fit to join your cause soon. Though, you know what I always find makes time go faster? Racing! Thanks again for what you did for me and the rest of the guard. Ursa joined you, right? Well, I'd be a bit of a heel if I didn't too, but... Well, I've been sitting here a while waiting for someone to do this race. I'd feel stupid if I left now.
Oh, you do not want to mess with Benji. Yes. Thanks. For a minute here, I thought I was going to have to defend myself. A translator when you need one, huh? Lucky for you, your girl Gwenpool is fluent in Makek. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like the little fella is challenging you to try out his, uh, snowman-based training? <laughs> nope, that was it. Snowman training. Because, of course, any martial artist worth their salt trains against inanimate piles of... Turns out the Cave of Dragons did have an actual dragon inside. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Hitmon. Oh, uh, he enjoyed the way you took out that snowman. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, the monkey seems impressed. Keep it up. Well, how about that? He says you've smashed enough snowmen in a random time limit to satisfy his ice lust. And as a reward, he's gonna let you play as him in the game. Now ain't that the Mekex Bananas, eh? You can never have too much of... Uh... How do I get myself in these crazy situations? Get me out of here! Cosmo could use friends' help with something! Think of it as payback for heroic Damocles help earlier. Ravonna, is this a new TV? I can't figure out. Thanks, true believer. Cosmo could use friends' help with something. Think of it as payback for heroic Damocles' help earlier. <laughs> hey, oh, I can't wait. Let's go. Here comes Daredevil, the man without fear. <laughs> Ricasso has done it again. 
The optical suggestions of the negative space bring the distinctive formal juxtapositions of crowbar, watermelon, Friday. Huh? I believe I... Oh, the way one travels through the dog bowl. The artist has created a powerful metaphor for how one can be transported by flavors and magic dog bowls. If Cosmo was to be doing that, Cosmo would be two bad doggies. But guests of Cosmo somehow get free pass. Cosmo must talk to Union Rep. Oh, fascinating. I didn't realize this was an interactive piece. <laughs> Truly fascinating. <laughs> the latter is a particularly apt piece given our current situation, for it is the very thing we need to escape this collapsing building. Fabulous, darling. Just fabulous. <laughs> Chilly up here, huh? Believe me when I say there are no artworks I'd rather be trapped in a building with more than these. Apparently there's some kind of exhibition happening up in that ruined building. If you're interested, that didn't sound healthy. Unless it was meant to do that. Art is so diverse these days, it's hard to know what the rules are. I'm all over this game. At what point do I stop being a cameo and start being a star? Something must have gone down in the Cave of Dragons. I hope you're leaving us feeling enlightened. Uh, was that guy with you? White Tiger is on the hunt for bad guys. And anyone else that annoys me.
Sensei, are you ready for the trial? To earn the sacred relic of these mountains, you must navigate the course without letting your feet touch the snow. There's no way we can pull that off in this suit. I can't see a thing. But you're the one with the eye holes. Friend come just in time. Cosmo is having major emergency. During Big Skull crash and tumble <laughs> journey into Chronopolis, Cosmo's very important equipments fly out of the window and fall down to the crazy mixed-up world below. Without these equipments, <laughs> Big Skull could go kaput and drop out of the sky. And Cosmo sure he does not need to say that this would be very... Thanking you. Cosmo <laughs> has sent vital infos to Flynn's radar to help in... Dr. Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, at your service. Friend won't fight! We're going then. You're the one who started walking. Listen to. Don't touch the snow, or you will fail the challenge. Oh man, I can't wait to have the iron fist. I'm gonna toast marshmallows over it. <laughs> Your ancestors would laugh at this display, but they didn't have TV, so the bar for comedy was much lower. This will be a true test of your inner chi. Only the strongest will survive. Beware. Are we there yet? So far, so good. So, did she ever explain the suit, or...? Is it odd that I'm really craving ice cream? Beware! For the course only gets more perilous from here. Oh man, now I've done it. Oh, I can't feel my face. Ah, that piece has very specific shape for absorbing space turbulence. And good for bouncing, if you say so. God will never know this. This will be a true test of your inner chi. Only the strongest. Congratulations. You are the winners of today's Kunlun Fun Run. 
and it is my honor to bestow upon you the mountain's sacred treasure, this fabulous gold-colored brick. Say chi. Come on, fun run. You said this was gonna make us into iron fists. I was told that we had to brave a trial on a mountain. How was I to know this was the wrong trial? Join us tomorrow where two more unsuspecting fools will embarrass themselves live on national television. Goodbye, folks. Take the prize already, guys. We don't want your stupid prize. Ugh. How do you get out of this stupid costume? Maybe this is just our life now. Uh, something for my next session of magical studies, perhaps? we were working with such a diva. We booked this big cosplayer to come and MC our upcoming fundraiser for the Fuzzy Foundation, but he's running really late. And I reckon we're past fashionably late. And as you might have noticed, I get antsy just sitting around waiting. That cool lo- All right, time to hit the trail. I forgot to ask Koi Boy exactly who this guy is cosplaying as, but I'm sure we'll know him when we see him. How good can a costume be? Uh oh, troubles are brewing. Isn't that Squirrel Girl? Oh no, she's onto us! We can't let her ruin our plans! Get her! You think these guys have anything to do with our missing cosplayer? <laughs> Over already? Well, they didn't seem to like us going this way. Ha! <laughs> so let's keep doing it. Stop them! Don't let them near the containment cell! Containment cell, huh? Is there a guy locked up? No! Help me! You know, it's only just occurred to me, but we could be on the trail of something totally unrelated to our cosplayer situation. Well, no point worrying about it now. Citizens are warned not to approach the gang. Don't they call her the unbeatable squirrel girl? I'm just saying, maybe rather than try to beat her, we just, you know, run away! Quiet, you fool! Get her! <laughs> These guys are no real challenge. I'd be Bing Bang Boom Yo! <laughs> Exhibition happening up in that ruined building? Man, I do not. Whoa! Is that Modok? No, wait. Something's not quite right. Yes, exactly! I'm not the real Modok! Just a charming professional imposter, also known as a costumed player. I was supposed to MC that fundraiser thing, but I was imprisoned by AIM for defecting. 
How are we gonna get you out of there? You'll need the password to open the cell. Assuming you haven't already clobbered them all, the lackeys around here should know what it is. All right, guess we have a new mission. See what you can dig up about that password. I'll hang here in case anybody important looking swings by. Those aim guys should be a bit more willing to talk after we showed their buddies what we're made of. Let's use that to our advantage. I'm still shocked that Murdoch would defect from aim to help Squirrel Girl of all people. Ask me, he got what he deserved getting thrown in the slammer. This world is actually quite convenient. If you feel like a change of weather, just head to the... You've got bad guys causing trouble nearby. Ugh, they make me so mad. Something must have gone down. So, find anything out? Hey, hey, hey. No walking on the green. This isn't football. That loser's opinion won't help us crack the password. I always thought Kunlun had a city on the mountain. Shame Kang didn't bring that into Chronopolis. Guess he must have had a budget to stick to. Scare me. I'll never tell you where my great 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 uncle's pirate treasure is buried. Never! Oh, the password. They don't tell me stuff like that. Just pirate treasure stuff. You see that superhero supply store? Lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of trouble. Yesterday she was purple. You'll learn to tune it out. Whoever they got on snowplow duty seriously needs to up his game. It's like driving inside a bounce house around here. Kronos building was a real giant fireball, so it'd melt all this snow. Of course, then we'd have a giant fireball to deal with. Looked like something big was going down on top of the Avengers Mansion earlier. Think it had anything to do with that massive face that appeared in the sky? Nah, probably unrelated. Any other juicy info nuggets? Pirate treasure, you say? Wait. That's not what we're here for. Take this seriously, would ya? Something must have gone down in the Cave of Dragons. That disembodied voice is yelling at me when I walk past them. I don't know nothing about no password. But I do know that at a rate of 1,667 words per day, it would take one month to write a novella. D does that help at all? Cosmo knew he could count on Fred for this important mission. Though Fred also bring back with them strange look of distrust for Cosmo. Like they believe he has been feeding them lies. Ah, must be Cosmo's imagination. Perhaps friend would like to celebrate mission victory by... Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if there is mention of this in the Book of Vishanti. Hmm? Apparently there's some kind of exhibition happening up in that ruined building. Man, I do not get that fancy art stuff. The password? 
I couldn't tell you it even if I wanted to. All I know is the guy who set it up used the name of his cat or his dog or something. Seriously, that is all I know. You seen that superhero supply store? The lady who runs it always seems to be in some sort of tr- In space, no one can hear you, Wolf! Looked like something big was going down on top of the Avengers Mansion earlier. Think it had anything to do with that massive base that's in the sky? Ah! Don't hurt me, please! I've got a cat to take care of! Oh, Princess Snuffle Meow! What have I got myself into this time? Any citizens having trouble dealing with their recent time displacement should contact their nearest Kang counselor. Any other juicy info nuggets? Apparently there's a weird name for a cat. Got a feeling that'll be relevant somehow. Something must have gone down in the Cape of Dragons. That disembark- Come on, what else you got? That sounds useful, but not on its own. We need more. <sighs> okay, from what you've told me, I think I've got it. The password is... Princess... Snuffle Meow? Oh, boy. Let's just hope it doesn't need a three instead of an E or something. Bingo! Huh? Sweet freedom! Thank you, kind squirrel. And friend. We did it! Seems like I'm not the only one who can use their awesome conversational skills to win a fight. Now we can finally get this show back on the road. Thanks for your help. Soon as he's had a chance to compose himself, I'll help Modoc here get to the event safely. <laughs> I left Chipmunk Hunk and Koi Boy in charge of getting Central Park ready for our big bonanza. Maybe you could give those guys a hand for me? Saw a monkey fighting a bunch of snowmen earlier? Maybe... Thank you for your help! See you at the fundraiser! Something must have gone down in the Cape of Dragons. That disembodied voice isn't yelling. Is there a person out there who can understand my vision? Working with Howard on this video game of his has been problematic. He laughed at my idea for the final boss, but I think he simply lacks the imagination. But as an accomplished game designer, this is a problem I know how to fix. Some ideas are better to show. A smart decision. I'll show you my design for the character. You've signed an NDA, right? Whatever. Get yourself looking the part, then we can start the demo. That cool lock. You know where the customizer is, right? Because if this was my game, there'd have been a tutorial for that stuff for sure. I saw a monkey fighting a bunch of snowmen earlier. Maybe I've been up here. Take down the crime that's happening right now, and you could win a fabulous prize. The prize is satisfaction and a job well done. Same as all the others. Sorry.
there to thaw out that frozen guy? A quick message to all you expectant mothers, fathers, and or others. Have you considered naming your child? This is the worst thing to ever happen to anybody ever! Uh. The uh, Statue of Liberty look a little off to anybody else? No? Just me? Looking good! We're lucky I managed to arrange this meeting with Howard. He's usually crazy busy on the phone with publishers all day and... Wait. We don't have a publisher yet. That lazy. <laughs> Soon as Howard shows up, I'll rustle up some enemies for you to fight. Is it odd mm. that I'm really craving ice? All right, Forbush, make this quick. I've got another meeting after this. About meetings. But we're the only two people working on... Oh, never mind. Feast your eyes on Cuck-a-doodle-doom! What? Huh? No one is safe from this foul enemy. Oh, good. Poultry jokes. I assure you, this villain is no yoke. And not even original ones. Fried don't know what you mean. Ugh. Oh. Doom lays her enemies to waste with devastating expertise. The puns are making. Where can I find the simple life, man? If you think she's done with you yet, you're fresh out of clock. No. And scene. So, what do you think? Pretty hardcore, right? Pretty intimidating, right? All right, stop saying words. You can put your stupid chicken boss in the game. But you won't regret this, Howard. If the folks at Chronocon don't... Oh, shoot. Chronocon's coming up. What are we doing standing around yakking? We gotta... Oh, yeah. I forgot we actually had to make the thing. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out. Looks like the cybernet is playing up again. Where can I find the simple life, man? Something tells me that story doesn't end here. Let's wrap this saga up in a Gwenpool mission. Speaking of Chronocon, you did get the tickets, right? Uh, I thought you were doing that. <sighs> this is what I get for teaming up with a walking pot rack. You can do it, Avengers. I believe in you. Even if your actions aren't technically authorized by Alchemax. Your eyes in the water see anything yet? Sup? I keep getting parking tickets. Honestly, you'd think the public eye were conspiring to make... Where can I find the simple life, man? It's already that late? Stupid snow, taking forever to plow. Engines all busted up. Don't forget to buy milk. I don't care what anybody says. I love you, Hawkeye. The Master says I won't make any progress in my training until I stop where I over... Where can I find the simple life, man? I always thought Kunlun had a city on the mountain. 
Shame Kang didn't bring that into Chronopolis. Guess he must have had a budget to stick to. How do I get... Tell me that big shield disappearing from Kang's tower means this whole thing is nearly over. Hey, at least we still have our health. Oh, come on. If some kind superhero could see their way to saving me right... Do you want to think about what you're doing? Where can I find the simple life, man? <laughs>